Skill Start is really a place where you can learn new skills. In this video, we'll go through a variety of useful and interesting shortcuts from Gboard, the Google keyboard for Android, that can help you save time and make text input easier, efficient, and more effective. You will be seeing 10 awesome tips and tricks with hidden shortcuts. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos, click the bell button to be notified as soon as a new video is uploaded. Have you ever been typing a chat message or compose email when you realize you need to add or change something several characters back? Simply place your finger on the space bar and slide it to the left or right without lifting it up. This works, it will move your cursor and allow you to place it wherever you need it. Don't be alarmed if the sliding on the spacebar doesn't work, simply tap the gear-shaped icon in Gboard's upper row, or, if you don't see that icon, tap the three-dot menu icon in that same area, and then find the gear icon in the larger menu that appears. Select Glide Typing from the keyboard settings and make sure the toggle next to Enable Gesture Cursor Control is turned on. Alternatively to the gesture cursor control seen earlier, we will now see how to precisely control the cursor. Look for an icon that looks like a eye with arrows on either side in the top bar menu of the keyboard. You'll get a succession of arrows indicating position. Use them to precisely move your cursor accordingly and place it wherever it's needed. Don't be alarmed if you don't see a eye there. Hit the three-dot menu icon in that same location, find the item labeled text editing, and then drag it up into the menu bar. Have you ever been typing a chat message or compose email letter by letter when you can actually type them by gliding through the letters? Yes, it is possible to input words by gliding through the letters. Simply tap the gear-shaped icon in Google's Gboard Android keyboard upper row, or, if you don't see that icon, tap the three-dot menu icon in that same area, and then find the gear icon in the larger menu that appears. Select Glide Typing from the keyboard settings and make sure the toggle next to Enable Glide TYPING is turned on. Let's admit it, we're all likely to make mistakes. With Gboard, you can easily delete an error or anything your better judgment tells you not to say, making deletion simple with a flick of your finger. A typical standard keyboard you can delete only one letter each time delete key is pressed, and it will be a daunting task if you want to delete many words. Gboard Gesture Delete allows you to delete words instead of letters. Simply slide your finger left from erase key and blocks of words get selected for deleting. Gesture Delete works in all languages and keyboard layouts. Tap the gear-shaped icon in Google's Board Android keyboard upper row. Select Glide Typing from the keyboard settings and make sure the toggle next to Enable Gesture Delete is turned on. Shifting your keyboard into a floating one-handed mode, especially on plus-size devices, can make text input infinitely easier at times. So, to move your Gboard keyboard to the left side of the screen, press and hold the comma key, then slide your finger slightly to the right to select the icon that looks like a hand on a box. If you let go, your keyboard will be shrunk and docked to the left. To move it to the right, press and hold the Enter key for a second while the keyboard is in its normal full width position, and then let go. In either case, you can restore the keyboard to its original sizing position by tapping the top icon in the sidebar area, the one with four arrows pointing toward the screen's corners. You can also quickly flip the Gboard from one side of the screen to the other by pressing the left or right facing arrow in the same area, and if you want to move the Gboard to a specific part of your display, slightly more to the left or right, or even higher up on the screen, press the icon that shows an arrow within a pair of boxes. This allows you to manually adjust and position the keyboard wherever you want. On the surface, Gboard seems to make it slightly difficult to get to special characters like the underscore or the asterisks. 
but there's actually a super simple way to find and access practically every number or symbol your language love and heart could ever desire. Touch your finger to the 123 key and then slide it upward across the keyboard. You'll see a screen full of numbers including fractions and special characters instantly appear and you can then just swipe your finger without lifting to the one you want. Once you let go, that character will be inserted into your text and the keyboard will go back to its regular QWERTY panel. You could also touch the dot key for special characters. Some of the symbols like the parentheses, for instance, have even more special characters embedded within them. You'll see an ellipsis at the bottom of their keys when you slide over them, and if you keep your finger in place for a second or so, you'll see a selection of additional related characters pop up for your sliding selection pleasure. There are instances when you want to capitalize a letter beyond the first character of a sentence. While capitalizing a you type is okay, you may not realize you need to alter the case of a word until you've placed it into an email or a document. To capitalize, touch your finger to the shift key, the up facing arrow to the left of the Z, and instead of letting go, keep your finger down and swipe over to whatever letter you want. That letter will come through capitalized, and the keyboard will then automatically switch back to lowercase when you let go. To alter word case, double tap the word you wish to change to pick and highlight it when working with any type of text. Then press the shift key, which is the same up facing arrow we just discussed. The highlighted word will convert to sentence case the first time you tap it. It will change to all caps if you tap it again. And then tap it once more, and your word will shift back into all lowercase letters. Being able to delete a large number of words at once is a fantastic ability to have, but it's all too easy to abuse. If you accidentally remove a significant portion of text, using the shortcut we explained in another tips and tricks, don't worry, there's an easy way to recover your words. Ever wondered how to restore if you accidentally erased or deleted some text or words or sentences by mistake, look above the keyboard quickly and then tap the content to restore it. Everything you erased will appear there, but only briefly, until you start to type something else. Save time by storing your favorite phrases and retrieving them any time you type in a predefined shortcode. First, open up keyboard settings, tap dictionary, then tap personal dictionary followed by your language of choice. Next, tap the plus sign in the upper right corner. Then, in the first field, type the word or phrase you want Gboard to remember. In the second field, enter the shortcode you want to use to retrieve the word. Make sure it's relatively short, easy to remember, and not overly common in everyday use, so you don't accidentally trigger it while typing. And that's it, whenever you type in the shortcode you created, your saved word or phrase will appear as the centermost suggestion in Gboard's top bar. All you've gotta do is tap it, then take a moment to marvel at the step-saving magic you performed. Tap the clipboard icon, then tap the toggle to activate the Gboard clipboard if it isn't already active. All that remains is to enter whatever information you want to keep on hand at all times. From the same menu, you can tap the pencil icon in the upper right corner of the keyboard and then the plus icon that appears, then simply type in whatever you find yourself typing frequently. Once you press the save button, your item will be automatically pinned to the Gboard clipboard. You can then access it at any time by tapping the same clipboard icon in the top row of the keyboard and then tapping your item to insert it into whatever text field you're typing into at the time. You can also add text to that pin section by copying it from anywhere on your phone, a web page, a document, an email, or wherever, and then opening up the clipboard section, finding your copied text there, and long pressing it to reveal the pin options.
Thanks for watching. Skill start, where learning never stops. If you like this video, press like and share. Follow us and subscribe for more videos.